to this video i will show you guys how to design this church flyer in color draw if you're new don't forget to subscribe and without any further ado let's jump straight to the video welcome to color draw guys so every bit of information i'm going to make use of i'm going to put the link in the down description below so what we're going to do now is we're going to change our paper size and the size we're making use of is 10 by 10 inches so to change your paper size in color draw basically locate your um, units under the property bar and make sure your um, drawing unit is on inches then convert to your page dimension and change to 10 by 10 inches then you can press enter on your keyboard and this is what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to our rectangle tool double click on it all right double click on it to bring it to the workspace and the next thing you're going to do is come over to this um icon here and whoa. all right click on it all right so once you do that the reason why we just did what we did is because um when you um double click on this you're gonna get something like this like um a black outline so to remove it basically just click on this to take it out so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to our file and click on import to import our stock images for the design all right so basically go to where your files are saved and um click on select everything you're going to make use of and once you do that just click and click and click and click on import so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click and drag click and drag to just place it over here and this is what you're going to have so coming over here guys these are all the text we're going to make use of all right so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to come over to this and bring in this background i'm going to scale it up this way all right so i want to scale it up this way then as you can see the background is kind of rough kind of so what we're going to do is we're going to go, go to effect then select blur then select gaussian blur all right then once you do that click on ok and you're going to right click and select power clip to place it into this frame all right so once you do that right click again and select edit power clip then bring it to the middle just the way i'm doing it here so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on finish and this is what you're going to have so what we're going to do now is i'm going to bring in this background right and i'm going to scale it up this way all right so when i scale it up i'm going to select my transparency tool come over to mage mode then select overlay all right so this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use ctrl plus x to cut it ctrl plus x or just drag it to the uh, right hand side and right click and select power clip then you can still place it in here and right click and select edit power clip then you can basically bring it to the middle over here then drag this one down a bit so this is what you're going to have the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on finish then you're going to bring in this background um scale it up this way so once you scale it up this way you're going to right click and select um sorry you're going to select your transparency tool then fade out this this way fade it out this way and uh, you're going to basically reduce this this way and this is what you're going to have the next thing you're going to do is you're going to right click and select power clip then you're going to place it into this frame yeah this is basically what you are going to have so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring in this image you're going to reduce it this way all right i'm going to scale this up this way scale it up again then let's reduce it a bit then we're going to bring it to this part and once we do that we're going to right click and select power clip then we're going to place it into this frame the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to this and copy our text all right so once we copy our text so basically not all the informations i'm going to put for you guys like the right tops i'm not going to put that for you guys then i'm going to select my text tool and i'm going to draw this and put this over here and i'm going to 
give it a white color so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to this and bring our logo place it here bring in this logo place it here so we're going to zoom out this way then we're going to select this and reduce this this way then we're going to place it just right here next thing we're going to do is we're going to reduce this one to make it align together and that is what you're going to have so we're going to group that and make sure it's in the middle and that is perfectly okay and that's what we're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to select this paste it just right here then we're going to give it a black color so what we're going to do is we're going to select the name of the font i'll be making use of is this best life so if you don't have those fonts please use the name and go and download now i'm going to just paste this over here then um let's click on enter so now there's something about these fonts guys there's something about these fonts what i'm going to do is i want to change this to capsule letter this one i want to change this one to uh capsule letter now what i'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and drag this out this way. Reason because why I'm doing this is because I want it to be readable. Do you understand? Because the way it is here, I don't like it. So I'm going to just drag this this way. Then I'm going to just reduce this and bring it just right here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this, paste it over here. Then we're going to give it a black color. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to change the font of this so first of all i'm going to um break this apart break this apart and use Control plus k to separate everything and the font i'll be making use of this is called captain book all right so i'm going to go out to the font all right then i want to select captain black then i want to just scale it up this way and i want to put a cursor here break it apart and i'm going to use Control plus k to break it apart I'm going to double click on this and um, highlight it. Then use Shift F3 on your keyboard to change to uppercase. All right. Or you can come over to text. All right. Then you can see change case. Then you can select uppercase. Click on this. Then highlight this one. Go to text. Select change case. Then select uppercase. Then click on OK. Now what you're going to do is we're going to select this one and keep them one side. Then I'm going to just place this one here. Once I do that, I'm going to make sure it's aligned together. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this one up this way and place it just right here. Then I'm going to scale it up again and place it over here. So the next thing we're going to do is let's bring this guy down here and um, leave that to that. So we're going to basically scale up a bit. We will scale up again and leave that to that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to change the font of this one to um, this. All right. This font. This is the name of the font I'll make use of. Then I'm going to just double click on it. Highlight it. Go to text. Then select um, change case. Make it uppercase. Then um, do the same to this. Change the font. Then go to highlight it go to text select change case select uppercase and this is what you're going to have so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just rotate this one this way and i'm going to bring it over here then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this one here then i'm going to break it apart this way once i do that i'm going to place it here then use my shape tool and reduce this this way i want to just bring it just right about that and that's what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click or come over to file. Come over to select import. Then I'm going to import a background, which is this. Then I'm going to just place this just right here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and select or first of all, group this together. Control plus G to group it. But to group it, everything is together. Then I right click and select power clip and place it into this frame. Then I click again and select edit power clip. Then basically rotate this this way and you're going to flip, scale it up, sorry. Then come about to effect, select blur, then select Gaussian blur. Then this is what you're going to have basically. And um, click on finish. 
and this is what you're going to have guys so if you don't understand please drop me a comment in the comment section below and the next thing you're going to do is basically um you're going to just um highlight this and um cut this using ctrl plus x then you're going to just place this one here and give it a black color all right so the next thing you're going to do is we're going to break it apart over here then select everything use text to then use change case then use upper case and select okay the next thing you're going to do is change the font to this all right but we're going to change it to something better so to this one so i'm going to re reduce it this way then i'm going to make it center alignment by coming over to your property bar so let's right i'm um, sorry center alignment then i'm going to place it just right here i'm going to scale it up this way so once you scale it up bring in your rectangle to um draw a box just right here then give it an outline so we're going to select our eyedropper to pick a color over here then drop it on this this way then basically select my shape tool and use this use it to make it a round corner shape then you're going to increase this one all right increase it come over to this color on your double click on it to get this box then come over to this and um, your weight change it to 1.5 to make it tick a bit then select the transparency to fill out this part and uh basically leave that to that so the next thing you're going to do is I'm going to cut this one, paste it over here, give it a black color. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to basically um, break it apart this way. All right, then break this one apart this way. Then use Control plus K. Then you can delete this off. You don't need it. Then you're going to just highlight this, cut it paste it over here then change the fonts to this all right change the fonts to this scale it up this way then place it just right here you can reduce it then change the fonts of this one to this also place it just right here change it to highlight everything change it to uppercase shift f3 then Reduce this one this way, bring in this one, then change it to 20, 20, 24. Then you can scale this up this way and um, leave that to that. Then bring this one, change the font to the Jacqueline. All right, so once you do that, place it just right here and um, scale it up, reduce it this way, and um, this is what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring in this information all right place it just right there give it a black color then change the font also to this all right but i'm going to use capstone book but we're going to select the capstone book medium then reduce this this way bring it over here as close as this then reduce this one all right I want to select my freehand to draw a line just right here and we're going to leave that to that so i want to just bring this one all right so once you do that give it a black color bring it down here and um, reduce this a bit then you want to change the font to this all right so once you change the font then put the cursor here and align this all right so once you align it, you can change this one to up uh, capital letter by going to text, change case, capital letter, that's uppercase. Then basically cut it, because I don't want it to be that big. So I'm going to just reduce it a bit, then give it this color, give it this color, and make sure everything is uh, aligned, then bring it down here, and leave that to that. So the next thing you're going to do is basically bring in this guy place it over here or we'll scale it up this way place it over here all right so once you place it there still scale it up again i click as let's power clip place it into this frame 
I click again, select edit file clip, select it, take it behind fill using control plus page down. All right, take it behind fill this way. So this is what you are going to have. So the next thing you're going to do is you can select this and um, use the transparency to fade out that part. And you can basically scale this one up this way and uh, leave that to that. So next thing you're going to do is you want to bring in this light flake. Select the transparency to fill out these edges because you don't want to have a line showing on the design. So you're going to bitmap it this way. Go to your bitmap, select bitmap, convert to bitmap, then select color mode as RGB, then click on OK. Then do this, highlights, convert to bitmap. So you can do the same to this. All right, do the same and convert to your still holding on your transparency to come to your mesh mode then select screen then bring it over here then it's behind view so use shift plus plus page up to bring it forward then basically scale it up this way place it anywhere you feel convenient for you but i think i'm fine over here then you can basically bring another one over here place it on the chalice this is actually a catholic design catholic flyer design all right then I'm going to just place this one here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my ellipse tool. Ellipse tool means your cycle tool. Then I'm going to give it this color. I'm going to pick a color from here. Give it this color. Then remove the outline. Then select my transparency tool. Select my fountain transparency over here. Over here, guys. Over here, fountain transparency. Then select your elliptical fountain transparency. Then change it to screen. So once you change it to screen, bring this one here you can bring this one guy and bring this one here so once you bring it and bring one over here so once you bring this one here we're going to change the the color of this one to this all right look at what i did look at the before drag this one here you can see there's a color kind of a color feel here like an effect then right click on this let's bar clip place it into this frame then guys Tell me if you don't love this flyer and um, if you have any question guys please drop me a comment in the comment section below and don't forget guys share this video like and comment and see you guys in my next video.